North Atlantic Operations Training Video. As practical example we will take real flight from Bratislava to Caicos. This flight is interesting as routing bring us through Shanvik Oceanic Airspace. Gander Oceanic Airspace. Santa Maria Oceanic Airspace. New York Oceanic Airspace. And at the end of this 10 hours flight, West Atlantic Route System Airspace, known as Waters. This flight is also playing within 180 minutes non ETOPS provision. Good flight preparation and coordination between crew and dispatch office is essential. Pilots should be aware that all ETOPS flights are subject to flight watch from operations office. If you require any changes due to changing weather, contact operations. Follow guidance from Oceanic Checklist. We can skip domestic portion of the flight and start with entry procedures. Still within European domestic airspace, but within 90 minutes away from Oceanic entry point, it is good time to request Oceanic clearance. Pilot monitoring must fill all required items of Oceanic clearance into MCDU. Pilots are fully responsible to reach requested level before entry. In case of ETA at entry point difference more than 2 minutes, pilots must send revised time. Soon after crew receive acknowledge message through data link. When actual oceanic clearance is received, both pilots must be present on flight deck. Issued clearance must be verified against to OFP and FMS routing. This particular clearance must be confirmed also via VHF communication. Pilot flying reads FMS points, and pilot monitoring checks clearance and OFP routing. Crew must reach assigned flight level before oceanic entry point. When performing prior entry oceanic checklist, gross error accuracy must be verified. Crew verify GPS based position against to conventional navigation. In this case using Barry Head VOR. Approaching Oceanic Entry Point, CPDLC contact with Shanvik should be established. Normally first ADS is established and shortly after CPDLC. As flight approaching Shanvik Oceanic Airspace, domestic ADC change frequency to Shanvik HF. Contact Shanvik on primary HF6622, secondary 8876, radar service terminated. Contact Shanvik on primary 6622, secondary 8876, B Air 941. Prior to or upon entering Shanvik, 
Flight crew should establish HF contact and perform cycle check. Shanvik Radio, B Air 941 on 6622. B Air 941 go ahead. B Air 941 Shanvik Radio, cycle check, Gander next. B Air 941 Shanvik Radio, HF primary 6622, secondary 8876, at 30 west contact Gander on 11279. Secondary 8864. Shanvik Radio B Air 941 Cell Cal Check OK, Primary 6622, Secondary 8876, at 30 West Contact Gander on 11279, Secondary 8864. Shortly after, you can expect confirm assigned route message. By sending message back, you send in fact auto generated route message based on your fms as we operate in our cp and our sp airspace uplink delay setting is also requested by atc by doing so you set airplane latency timer to requested value should you exceed your CPDLC message response time, uplink delay exceed message will illuminate. Once inside oceanic airspace, it's good idea to use strategic oceanic offset. Offset should be right of track up to 2 miles. About 30 minutes after entry, set transponder to 2000. Once you passed waypoint, track and distance to next waypoint must be verified against to FMS. About 10 minutes after waypoint crossing, plot your position in plotting chart. It's always good idea to use equal time points from FMS. Update your current alternate airports and wind, for correct calculation. For better situational awareness, you can show equal time point on your actual route. As the flight progress further, crew may require further step climb. Preferably use CPDLC to do so. Must be aware that G650 FMS does not automatically arm message to ATC when level is reached. Pilots must arm message manually and verify whether it was sent to ATC. This particular flight enter for brief time Gander Oceanic Airspace. CPDLC usually switch over for next sector, however circle check is still required on Gander HF radio. Gander Radio B Air 9 
941 on 11279. B Air 941, Gander go ahead. Gander Radio, B Air 941 Selkel check, Santa Maria next. B Air 941 Gander Radio, HF Primary 11279, Secondary 8864. At 30 North Contact Santa Maria, Primary 8906, Secondary 5598. Gander Radio, B Air 941, Selkel check OK. Primary 11279, Secondary 8864. At 30 North Contact Santa Maria, Primary 8906, Secondary 5598. Changeovers to other sectors are similar. When entering Santa Maria FIR, crew might be given squawk and VHF frequency, as transitioning over Azores Island's domestic airspace. Crew should continuously monitor whether it ETOPS alternates, and coordinate with operations in case of weather deterioration. This training video covered routine Atlantic crossing. In-flight contingencies and weather avoidance will be covered in other videos and training presentations. For further refer to operations manuals and ICAO document 007.